What's going on, beautiful people? It's Saturn's favorite, the hood's guru, the hood's pastor in the building, man. All right, I got a brief little gem for y'all. I'm back on my wellness tip, so you know, I'm wrapping up my daily walk. About to go in the crib, change, then head to the gym. I'm not really a big cardio guy. I used to be. I'm trying to get some muscles now. I'm trying to get shredded, put the body fat down. So uh, you really just got to take care of the nutrition in the, in, in the, in the kitchen, y'all. Eat real food, whole foods, clean foods. No fats. Not no fats, no sugar, excuse me. You got to have some healthy fats in there, right? You got to put them carbs down. Okay, look at that. I'm about to get a little chisel. Look at that little flex. Little, little flexy flex. But anyways, enough about me, guys. Enough about me. <sighs> Something I was thinking about while I'm on this walk, all right? And this is going to be a relationship download. Thinking about the construction of the birth chart. <sighs> um, I believe this tip can help people uh, get closer to flames, mates uh kindred relationships all right so this is what it is family if a guy's going to the gym let me turn it the other way around before you gotta be a little easy talking about gender nowadays let's say this let's say you got this chick this lovely feminine woman right and you know she's serious about her fitness taking care of herself her wellness right she's serious about her life in general right the well-being her emotional mental well-being stability everything right but let's say you know she really be on her fitness time on her wellness time knowing her calorie intake right certain foods she not eating right she's devoted committed to a healthier lifestyle and fitness right Guys, what is the odds that this woman is going to date a man that doesn't reflect healthy wellness? What is the odds that this woman is, is going to date a guy that is unfamiliar with working out in the gym? I'm not saying this woman can't align herself with somebody that doesn't really reflect the fitness lifestyle but it's not that likely vice versa you got a male physical trainer he's been experienced for how long training what's the odds that he's gonna date a woman that's out of shape or at least won't adapt part of a healthy wellness fitness lifestyle for their well-being Okay, let's go to another example. Let's go to another example. Um, a guy wants to start a family. Let's say a guy wants to start a family. Uh, his whole life, he's been, uh, you know, what's going on, boss? His whole life, he's, he's grew up and watched his parents right be together being a healthy marriage or he's just seen marriage exemplified in front of him in his childhood uh he's always wanted to have a family this is he, the, this brother got some cancer fourth house placements <laughs> all right so um let's say this is what it is right let's say this is what it is what's the odds of this man dating a woman that ain't serious about family that ain't serious about wanting to be a wife and have children and have their own fourth house. What's the odds? It's not likely. Because he's intentional about what he wants in his first house. He's intentional about what he wants in his personal life. Back to the example of the, the fitness lady. She's intentional about what type of frequency she wants in her first house. Fitness, taking care of myself, regimen, order. Lower them carbs. So this is another dynamic of the uh, the first and the seventh house opposite axis. 
your seventh house will remain scattered. Your seventh house will seem like it's upside down. It's 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 spontaneous. It's it's miscellaneous. It's it's you know chaotic at times. Seventh house, aka your dating life, your relationship life. This aerial will remain upside down if your first house is upside down. What frequency vibration are we serious about establishing in our personal life, whether we're dating somebody or not? That is simply creating the environment for this mate to walk right in there. If there's a certain habit that I know is not productive for me, It's very likely that if I'm very stern and disciplined about that, I, I'm not going to associate myself with people who indulge into that habit. Right? So, unstable personal life, unstable relationship life. Unstable first house, unstable seventh house. Lack of intention in the first house, lack of foundation in the seventh house. If you don't stand for something, you fall for anything. So this is another example why some people, uh, when you neglect personal self-development, a sense of personal purpose in your life, this is why it's easier, especially if you have a lot of seventh house placements, Libra placements, you have a Venus in water, preferably Cancer or Pisces. This is um, Venus in the seventh. This is, uh, this is moon aspecting Venus. Uh, this could be air moons Not Aquarius though Libra Gemini moons These placements and many more Virgo placements Venus and Virgo Debilitated Venuses Venus and Virgo Venus and Scorpio 8th house Venus and the 6th house These type of placements You know uh, Not to say none of you guys have a sense of purpose Or we all have purpose But Sometimes you can have alignments that make you way too open to the point you neglect personal duty, responsibility, development. So when you walk into a seventh house opportunity, relationship opportunity, it, you cons you're consumed in it. This is you now. You don't have a first house. Your first house is the seventh house. And why is that highly fucking negative? Because what happens when something happens to your seventh house? What happens if this person makes their exit in your life because they was only in your life for a certain chapter, right? What happens? What happens? You're like, what happened to me? Not what happened to my relationship, what happened to me? Now you gotta find your first house. It should never be a process of having to find your first house after a breakup, after this, that, and the third. That's why I believe people that have strong first houses within a relationship will thrive. I believe relationships where there's a healthy uh, foundation of individuality and, and, and uh, the people, both parties having spaces to pour into and embrace things with their first house, personal goals, aspirations, and finding ways, finding those pockets to complement and support each other. That's mad important. That's mad important. You cannot lose your first house because of the seventh house. So have some intention in your first family. Have a program in your first house. Have a program. I remember when I was younger, I'm, speak, I, I, I'm speaking like I'm 50 years old or something, but I remember when I was younger, you know, dating in my like earlier 20s to a degree, when I, 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 I it's hard to say like program. Not saying I'm the most disciplined person in the world, but I'm not a like, not really a floaty guy. I may be late, I, I could be lazy at times, Libra shit. But there's always a goal at hand, a mission at hand. But when I was younger, when I lacked as much of a program as I may have now in my life, um, it was easy for me to get into so much bullshit situations with women because, um, you know, I was, I, it was easy for me to overgive or, or, or overcompensate or give too much time into a situation because it was a lack of giving time resource attention to something i got going on personally and that's not to blame that woman or that's not to blame a mate in any situation y'all might be dealing with 
you need to find that balance. You need to take the initiative to communicate, express things, to find that equilibrium between a person and relationship. You see all the potential and value in, but all the goddamn potential and value you have in the first house. You feel what I'm saying, family? All right. So I love y'all. It's just something I was just thinking about. You know, our relationships will always reflect the first house. That's just what it is. Relationships are some of the most craziest experiences we'll go through. We'll have to navigate in this realm because those is one of the most important circumstances that could teach us about our goddamn selves that could help us see the first house. You hear what I'm saying, family? Do you feel a good?